vegangal.com and guess what? Today is my 10 year anniversary of being a vegetarian. Yep, this was the day 10 years ago, 2003, when I decided to stop eating most animal products. Well, meat, I should say. Let me tell you the little story about this in case you're curious. I, it happened overnight, I should say, let me say that. I was in New York City visiting a friend who was vegan at the time and I can't remember much except for when he turned down a slice of cheesecake at a restaurant we went to. I remember that he, when I first met him, he was eating dairy but had been vegetarian his entire life. But for some reason it was the cheesecake slice that he turned down that turned something on in my head. We started talking about it, don't recall any of that conversation at all, but something clicked for me. And I went home from New York City, I took the bus back, and I was staying with my grandparents. I got back fairly late that evening and my grandparents had made me a dish. I believe it was chicken. And uh, I remember looking down at that plate and thinking back to this conversation that we had and saying, you know what? This is gonna be my last meal of meat. I don't know why I still ate it. Maybe it was during the process of eating it. Again, that it's very fuzzy. I wish I had been blogging back then because really wish I could recall more of the details. But anyways, I remember that the next day, my grandparents also took me to Wendy's, I think. At the time, I was really into Wendy's. And I remember making my very first decision of going vegetarian. So I got a salad at Wendy's. And again, don't remember much about how that felt, but just remember thinking, do I really wanna eat a salad? Is this gonna satisfy me? I can't believe I'm going to one of my favorite fast food places and not getting any meat. But I got it, don't remember anything else. The big thing that I remember after that though was maybe a week or so later, my I told my family and they probably brushed it off. My father brought me a plate of fish for dinner once that the rest of the family was eating and I told him that I wasn't eating it anymore. And I remember him maybe being slightly offended and kind of laughing it off or something and saying, oh, we'll see how this long this lasts or something like that. Those are the fuzzy details. Not shortly after, not too long after that, uh, maybe a few months down the line, I was working as a camp counselor and I also remember that being a big thing for me. Two big things were happening during that time. This is over the summer of 2003. I remember there was one other vegetarian there and the chef at the camp was more than happy to make us vegetarian food in fact i think he was really excited about it i remember us having like vegetarian blts and that's really all i remember there's something about bacon isn't there <laughs> i don't even remember what kind it was but he was thrilled he was happy to make it for us and i was thrilled to have all these great vegetarian options also while i was at that camp during my spare time i started reading books I distinctly remember reading Fast Food Nation and my eyes just widening at all these facts I was learning. And I would just go and check out books on whatever topic I could about the vegetarian lifestyle. A few months down the line in September 2003 is when I decided to go vegan. Unfortunately, I don't remember the exact day as I did when I went vegetarian. It was, was a much slower progression for me. It maybe took me a few weeks to a month. But the vegetarian was the big deal for me. So. I want to inspire all of you to record details as much as you can remember about your transition into the lifestyle. Even if you don't think it's going to last, even if you have no idea how you're going to feel, what you're going to do, what your mind's going to think, write it down so that you can remember 10 years later, even if you've changed your mind. I think that's a huge key here because there are people that decide to go vegetarian or vegan and then decide not to be it for some reason. I think they lose track of their reasoning there, they don't understand it. Then there's some people like me who commit to it and never plan on turning back, but really wish that they can remember what it was like so that they can help other people. The other thing is, is just remembering that you can do it. 10 years might seem like a ton of time, but wow, did it go by, it flew by. It's crazy to me that it's been that long. And so much has changed over the time. I've changed so much as a person in all aspects of my life. My diet has changed, my lifestyle, I've learned a lot. I started at the very bottom. I knew, I think, one person really well that was vegetarian. And so my family wasn't vegetarian, My very few of my friends were. 
And that was okay with me. I just decided to jump into it and figure things out as I went along. The library was a great resource. The grocery store was always fun. I started to feel more and more comfortable making requests at restaurants, talking to my family about it. I feel very fortunate that my family was open to it. And I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that they saw me educating myself on it. And so, obviously, if you're here watching this video, you're looking for some education and inspiration. So, I can always offer you various forms of guidance in my videos as far as the, and as far as the resources that I offer. Huge thing for me, though, is about the inspiration. Just saying that you can do it, and you will be amazed at what you can do and for how long. The first few weeks are the hardest part. That's where your taste buds are changing. That's where your body's starting to change, your mind's starting to change. Just give it that time and stick with it. Find variety, find information, just be determined with it and surround yourself with as many people, whether they're in person or virtual like myself, that can keep you motivated. There's so many great resources online. There are support groups, there are books, there are eBooks, there are forums, there are of course Twitter, Facebook, what, whatever, you name it. You have so many more resources than I did 10 years ago. Can you believe, going vegetarian was fairly easy, there's so many faux meats out there, but wow, going vegan 10 years ago was a huge challenge. Nowadays, wow, there's food everywhere, there's so many different types of vegan alternatives to cheese, to milk, to ice cream, to butter, to whatever it is. I mean, you can find incredible versions of eggs. I mean, for me, the, the excuse as far as your palate goes to not go vegan is, is kind of silly to me because of all these great options for you. So feel very fortunate where you are and imagine where we're gonna be in 10 years. I would love to hear about your story, especially if you wanna do a video response to it. So record a little journey, journal. I love seeing you on camera and other people do as well. You can inspire other people by making videos. If you're too shy to do videos, leave me a comment, link to me, uh, link me a journal style, a blog post if you'd like with the details. If you just went vegetarian or vegan or if you did a while ago, write it all down. You never know who you're going to inspire. And celebrate each year that you've continued to be vegetarian and vegan first year, second year, whatever. I was especially excited on my seventh year because actually our cells renew every seven years. So technically, biologically, you are a completely different person every seven years. So that's when I knew it was a big deal. But 10 years is also a pretty big milestone. I guess I'll probably be recording another one of these videos year 15, year 20, year 30, on and on and on. <laughs> I look forward to you hearing your questions, your comments, your feedback, your stories. So please leave those below in the comments. As I said, you can always find more information at ecoveegangal.com and on all the social media networks that I'm on. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe so you're the first to know when I have more videos like this. And you will see links to my other YouTube channels where I have information about all aspects of the eco-vegan way of life. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time and congratulations wherever you are on your vegetarian slash vegan journey. Bye.